see clouds like this on the horizon, don't wait. Just go. Go and get your camera, get in the car, and go. So what we're looking for specifically is cloud cover, but with a gap on the horizon so the sun can just leak in underneath and ignite the sky. It's exactly, exactly what we've got. Oh, I could burn. Oh, fuck, I'm excited. Um, we've got like low-lying clouds in the valley, and I can see off in the distance that there is it's just a clear gap that's just glowing right now. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna put the camera down so that I don't crash my car and die. Now. Alright, so right now I've got clouds down that way, and then looking back this way, just beautiful light, just incredible light in either direction. So I'm gonna throw the 100 400 on and shoot some close up scenes of these mountaintops while we've got this golden light popping and then hopefully it lights up later. We get further down the valley, we can get some like wide shots. <sighs> what a treat. So we're just coming over the mountain range now and the sun is, oh, oh my God. Ah! Holy shit, man, the, there's just light flooding the valley. Oh, it's, this is just unreal. Yes, my car is disgustingly dirty. Go find some more compositions. Yes, I'm pulled over by the side of the road. Oh, holy shit. That's such a cool shot. Oh, oh my God. So I'm focusing right in on these trees at 400 mil and getting some wild textures. Shooting at F8, ISO 200, 2,000th of a second. Going for some really dark, moody looking images. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, some low lying clouds on those. Fuck me. Those textures are insane. Woo. in these clouds on the top of the mountains. Mm, I haven't even had a coffee today, shit. <sighs> Settle down, man. Settle down. On the other side of the road, just over there, there is there's a river that runs along by. I gotta check it out. I gotta check it out. I'm gonna pull it over again. We're not even gonna get to where I was planning. I don't even give a shit. I'll be back. What I'm thinking is this river leading up to that view. This is not the spot for it, but I like the idea. The idea works. Should have planned this earlier. I saw this on the horizon and I was editing a video. All right, we we'll put you down for a second. We're gonna find a composition. And we're gonna take a photograph. Oh yeah. We're out of the car. 
and I'm trying to get a little altitude, clear these trees so I can get a shot looking back at Castle Mount, which is the original spot that I was gonna go shoot. But I've done it so many times and it just wants, I want a different angle of it. This might be a mistake because I didn't bring my jacket. Oh, bugger it. We're here now, we're doing it now. I don't think this was a mistake. This is a great idea. Yeah. I'm trying to get out of these little trees and get a clear view of this mountaintop. It's just catching a little bit of light. <sighs> Not bringing gloves or a jacket or spikes. They were mistakes. But I couldn't give a shit right now because I found a clear vantage point. <sighs> yes. Oh, I am gassed. But look at that. That is the frame that I want. All right, let's set it up. Okay, so I got one shot with the light just touching the end, end of the peaks. And now I'm just hoping that the sky lights up behind it. It probably won't, but... Oh, that was fun. And if it does, we're gonna get an incredible shot. Well, well, I don't think the light's gonna pop, and that's okay, because I had a great time out. And I've also scouted a place to shoot the Aurora over Cascade Mountain, which is something I've thought about for years and just, and just never had the right spot for it. So, this frame at 70 mil, 2.8, the next Aurora Storm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> hope you guys enjoyed. <sighs> I did. I sure as hell did. And if you want to see that video of the Aurora next time it happens, subscribe because you, <laughs> you bet I'll be making a video about that. All right, guys. I'm going to head back to the car and go get some dinner. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh. That was emotional. <laughs>